Okay, so let us continue our discussion and the goal is to identify what exactly this blob is. Okay. We already have an idea what this is. This looks like all the um, all these factors, okay? But we want to give a precise expression for this. So what I've done is I've pulled out two uh, um, two sheets from my previous course, the first course on quantum field theory, and here um, let's see what the way we had written down the Feynman rules for n point Green's function. Okay. So, here you have g n x 1 to x n and here this is g tilde. So, that is the Fourier transform where doing a Fourier transform involves multiplying with these exponential factors e to the minus i p i x i. Okay. So, there is the Fourier transform. So, um, I am calling this particular diagram as F okay, and the Fourier transform being F tilde. This is a four point function and you see you have these uh, uh, d4 xi to the minus i pi dot xi because we are doing a Fourier transform times the, the Feynman diagram in the coordinate space using uh, momentum space Feynman rules. So, recall what we studied, studied at that time that you label each propagator by some momentum uh, k i. Okay. In this case you have 6. So, you, you have to integrate over all the 6 and at each external point you include a factor e to the minus i times the momentum that enters into that external vertex times x i. So, here minus k 1 is entering into x 1. So, that is why you have e to the plus i k 1 x 1 okay, because the sign gets reversed and then you have propagators. Then delta function momentum conserving delta function at each vertex and then um, all these factors. Okay, and let us see what happens then. So, if you take this um, exponential coming from Fourier transform and that exponential coming from the Feynman rule for g in x coordinates, you get a delta function 2 pi to the 4 delta 4 p i minus k i. Okay. And then further manipulating this and doing all the integrals let us say we do the integral over k 6, okay, we still keep the integral k 5, this one. Okay, you have k 5 and k 6 running in the loop and I should have only one loop momentum left because this is a one loop diagram. So, I do the k 5 integral that is trivial and I am left with a, uh, I mean apart from these propagators and this loop momentum and other propagators. I am left with a overall momentum conserving delta function times 2 pi to the 4. So, you can integrate over k 5 also that is uh, not so easy, but you can, but here we are just integrating over all those momenta which are easy to integrate because of the delta function. Okay? So, that is why I integrated over k 6. So, the thing that we should carry from here is that I get at the end a 2 pi 4, 2 pi to the 4 times a delta function and delta function involves all these momenta. In this case, because we were looking at a 4 point function, I get sum of all these 4 momenta. Okay, that is what we should remember from here and also the Feynman, uh, the, the way this is written, the Feynman rules. Okay, so, now we will utilize this and let us revert to our uh, original thing. So, here I have let us look at only one leg. Okay. 
and each leg at each for each leg you'll have similar thing but i will not worry about it now but i will draw it nevertheless okay we are trying to interpret or find out what exactly we have multiplying g amputated or g tilde amputated okay what are the exact factors that multiply in generic terms we we know exactly in terms of propagators and all this but generically what is that object so let's uh, concentrate only on this one so uh, here is the fourier transform integral d4 x1 e to the minus i q1 dot x1 okay this factor is coming because i am looking at a fourier transform because i am looking at g tilde q1 q2 and so forth okay and i, I will write only for leg 1 and this is right now drawn in the coordinate space i mean this is g tilde x1 x2 and so forth okay then if i write the expression of this g tilde x1 x2 x3 xn then it will be you remember um, yeah so here i should assign momenta k1 okay i'll not worry about these but let me nevertheless write okay and this one let me call k1 prime okay i'll put the arrow this way okay so that's fourier transform of this object you have d4 k1 over 2 pi to the 4 then e to the i k1 dot x1 or k1 prime dot x1 okay this is exactly this factor okay you see coming from here so that's this factor then i should write all the propagators so i have i over k1 prime square plus sorry minus m square plus i epsilon okay remember here it is not the physical mass here it is the bare mass that appears in the lagrangian times um, all those things that are contained in the blob okay all those contributions coming from there so i'll call i'll just donate uh, denote it like this which i will write as f of k1 so this object is f of k1 okay and it can, it will depend only on this momentum k1 because that's what enters in here and all other uh, momenta that you will have inside they will be dummy they will be integrated over okay and because of the momentum conservation at each vertex the only momentum that will on which this object will depend on will be k1 so that's why i write f of k1 <coughs> or or yeah f of k1 is fine times um, you have integral d4 k1 prime 2 pi 4 i over k 1 prime square minus m square plus i epsilon okay times 2 pi to the 4 delta 4 k1 minus k1 prime okay why do you get this you get this because of momentum conservation at each each vertex okay so that momentum conservation will ensure that k1 is equal to k1 prime and that's why you are going to get this factor when you write down the expression for this okay when you have once you have integrated out over all the other delta functions arising from the vertices inside this blob you will end up with 
only one uh, delta function which will be k1 minus k1 prime and then times all the remaining things which arise from the remaining parts of this uh, this diagram or sum of diagrams okay so i'll just write remaining parts okay i'm writing diagram a bit loosely because you have to actually add up all the diagrams so it is not just a diagram but rather um, sum of all the diagrams okay now um, this is g tilde basically this d tilde okay so what do you get you collect uh, x1 and integrate integrate over it and that gives you a uh, 2 pi to the 4 delta 4 q1 sorry q1 okay there is some i have made slight mistake this is not k1 prime this is k1 here q1 minus k1 okay that's correct times now if you yeah let me change this is not right way I should write integral d4 k1 over 2 pi to the 4 okay and then integrating over x1 gives me this delta function which I was telling q1 minus k1 okay times this this should also have been k1 now k1 is q1 so i can just write because of the delta function i can write q1 squ q square q1 square minus m square plus epsilon times f of you can write as q1 times <coughs> this integral Just a second. Okay, times integral d4 k1 prime k1 prime square minus m square plus epsilon and um, actually I can see there is a delta function here which says k1 prime which puts k1 prime equal to k1. So, if I integrate over k1 prime, I will get this expression with k1 prime replaced by uh, k1 and this delta function uh, 2 pi 4 will cancel with this and this integral will be done. It will be taken care of. So, I will just do that. But also, because of this delta function, k1 is forced to q1. So, eventually this k1 prime rep get replaced to replace to first k1 because of this delta function and then eventually to q, uh, q1 because of this delta function. So, let me just remove this and write um, I will just just remove all this and write i over q1 square minus m square plus i epsilon times remaining parts of the diagram okay and I have also I should also remove this I have done integral over k1 as well so this is gone 
sorry, this entire thing is gone. Okay, this is correct. So, this is the previous expression is equal to this. So, you can also check this way that um, what I am writing is correct. You have one delta function here okay, and one delta function coming from uh, doing x1 integral over these two exponentials. So, at the end I am left with two delta functions and integrals over and, and two integrals d4 k1 and d4 k1 prime. So, when I do those integrals over two delta function neither I should have those integrals left nor the delta functions okay, and that is why you have this result. So, this is fine uh, no problem here um, I should also again this is I will be drawing like this. Okay. Good. Now, this is something we already have seen, we have already seen, but now I want to uh, recall that the, the general expression of g tilde which we saw here. Okay. So, if instead of this four point function, if I was looking at a two point function like okay. Um, how do I get white color? Here. So, if I look at instead of this four point function, if I look at two point function, okay, sorry, any any diagram which with uh, cor which contributes to two point function. Then, if you repeat the same steps, then at the end you will have all these propagators. Okay, so in this case, two propagators, and then apart from other things, you'll have a two pi to the four delta four uh, q one plus q two. Okay, so this, if I call this as q one, and this as q two then this will have in addition to other factors in addition to the propagators and other factors you will have delta 4 q 1 plus q 2 ok that is what you are going to get and that is what I want to utilize now ok how do I get rid of this ok. So, as you can see as, as I just said delta uh, g tilde of q 1 q 2 ok which is just the Fourier transform of two points green function will have as we have seen above i over q 1 square minus m square plus i epsilon times this f of q 1 ok all those um, things which come from here from this blob all the internal vertices and internal propagators times again you get i over q 1 square minus m square plus i epsilon and then at the end you have 2 pi to the 4 delta 4 q 1 plus q 2. <coughs> okay. I will denote this factor as g tilde of q 1. Okay, my g is looking strange g tilde of q 1. So, this becomes g tilde of q 1 times 2 pi to the 4 delta 4 q 1 plus q 2. Okay. Now, you see that here we had exactly this when I analyze the general thing. So, contribution from the leg 1 
was i over this propagator times f q 1 times again the same propagator multiplying the remaining parts of the diagram. Okay? And here what do you have? If you look at the two point function, then it has exactly the same for form. Okay? This propagator with q 1 momentum in it, then f q 1 which is exactly the same f q 1. Okay? Then again this propagator, but another factor of 2 pi to the 4 delta 4 q 1 plus q 2. Okay? So, you see that what appears here this piece this is g tilde of q 1. So, I will write this as g tilde of q 1 times remaining part of the diagram. Okay? And if you do the same on each of the legs then you get g tilde q 1 times g tilde q 2 and so forth so and so forth up to g tilde q n times what times exactly what we call as g tilde amputated g tilde amputated Green's function with all these momenta. Okay, so, that is what we have achieved and I know what exactly g tilde n is uh, sorry g tilde I should put a superscript 2 that is g tilde 2 and what is d tilde 2 this is exactly this object. Okay. Now, I will um, show you that g tilde 2 here with only one argument q 1 <coughs> is basically a, a, a Fourier transform of Green's function g tilde um, 2 x 1 x 2, but involving only one variable that is or instead of q and I will just write q okay, because I am doing it in general. So, g tilde 2 x x prime is um, I am defining I am doing a Fourier transform, but with only one variable ok. So, this is what defines g tilde 2 of I could write ok that is fine ok. <coughs> now, also if you look at the Fourier transform involving both the variables um, transforming both x and x prime then it was defined to be g d 4 x d 4 x prime e to the i uh, sorry e to the minus i q dot x e to the minus i q dot x prime okay, times g of x 1 x 2, but that I will substitute from here. So, instead of uh, g tilde 2 x 1 x um, x x prime I will just substitute this. So, this is integral d 4 k 2 pi to the 4 e to the i k dot x into e to the minus i k dot x prime times g tilde 2 of k. Okay, let us do x integral. So, this piece involves x, that piece involves uh, x. So, that gives you yeah, and similarly for x prime you do, you will again get a delta function just like for x and then you are left with integral d 4 k. So, you will be left with d 4 k over 2 pi to the 4. Okay times g tilde 2 k times these delta functions that you get after doing x integrals. So, you get 2 pi to the 4 delta 4 um, this one and this one gives q minus k and x prime integrals give q plus k. 
something wrong. Some primes are missing, so here should have been a prime. Okay, so this one is fine, and that one should be Q prime minus K. Now, so, no, there is something wrong. Q plus, sorry, Q dot X, K dot X. So there is a relative sign. So fine. Here, K minus K minus Q prime. So it should be a plus. Okay. Now let's do the integral over K and utilize this delta function. Two pi four cancels here and there, and you get. <coughs> g tilde 2 k okay uh, sorry not k because k should be forced to become q so g tilde 2 of q and this should give 2 pi to the 4 delta 4 q plus q prime okay so what do we see is that what we see is that uh, the Fourier transform of this Green's function or g tilde 2 q q prime that is just g tilde 2 q with one variable times a overall momentum conserving delta function. Okay, and remember here you get a q plus plus q prime because the way we have been doing is if this is q and that is q prime then you get q plus q prime. Okay, and remember we had uh, at the external vertices, okay, we had the momenta always um, assigned either entering from both all the sides or exiting on all the sides. That is why you get a delta 4 q plus q prime. Okay, so, now we have an understanding of what that factor g tilde 2 q is. Why? Because you see here, this and entire factor is same as what appears in here. Okay? So, clearly this, this factor times the delta function is g tilde 2 with q 1 q 2 that is something we argued. Okay? We argued some time back that 2 point function if you take the Fourier transform then it is 2 pi uh, overall momentum conserving delta function times g tilde 2 of q 1 where this is this object which is what appeared in the previous expression here. Okay? And now we have an interpretation for this factor. What is that? That this is. So, if you were to take a two point uh, function in the, in the Fourier space then that will be equal to 2 pi 4 times delta 4 this and the prefactor is what enters into here into this in this okay okay good so this is what i wanted to show and then um, we are almost there i will make some connection i will make a connection of this with the um, scattering amplitude i will define it and then we will proceed from there <coughs>